Hey, this is Sandeepan here and today I am gonna show you how to install your Parrot security OS in your computer with a pre-installed Windows operating system. So let's get started. First you have to insert the bootable pen drive and restart your computer. And after restarting you have to enter to the boot menu on your computer. And after entering into the boot menu you have to select your bootable drive. So after selecting the correct bootable drive it will restart your computer and after a while it will show you the OS options. You can run your live OS but in our case I want to install the OS in my hard drive so select the install and select the install by GTK GUI mode. So select your language then select the location and configure the keyboard then the components will start loading from your bootable drive. And here you have to enter the password for your root user. And after entering the password, click continue and then select a username for your computer. After entering the username, select a password for your user and then click continue. Select the clock. And here's the partition menu. Go for the manual partition. This is a very important process, so do it carefully. I have already created a logical partition of size 51 GB to install the OS. So select the correct partition and I am going to delete this partition first. As you can see a free space uh, is created over here and select the create new partition option. and select a size that I am selecting a 4 GB size set it at beginning and use it as my swap area and select the done setting up partition and select the rest free space create new partition and it will by default used as the ext4 journaling file system so after uh, if all done then select the option that finish partitioning select yes and our partition is formatting now and yeah the system is started installing so this process may take some minutes.
and as you can see the grub bootloader is started installing in our hard disk I will always recommend you to read the messages seen over here very carefully. These messages are really very very important. So what is written over here that the following other operating systems have been detected on this computer, Windows Vista. If all of your operating systems are listed above then it should be safe to install the bootloader to the master boot record of your first hard drive. So when your computer boots, you will be able, so this message is very very important, you will be able to choose to load one of these operating systems or your new system. So install the grub boot loader to the master boot record. You should choose the yes option and click continue. And after that you have to select the hard drive where you want to install your OS. Hmm. So choose the drive dev slash sda. This is your hard disk and don't choose the dev slash sdb. It is your bootable drive. So don't choose that. Choose the dev slash sda and click continue. And yeah, this is finishing the installation. So, this process will take some time, and after some time, the installation will be finished. Press continue. and after some time or uh, some minutes yeah it will be finished and it will restart your computer and yeah here you can choose the operating system you want to ins 
enter and if you wait for some time and don't choose any operating system to enter it will uh, by default enters to the parrot OS like this and after some time you have to enter the password for your user and click the login button and after giving the correct password the desktop is shown so we have installed the parrot OS in our hard drive successfully let's check the drives from here and all is okay and this is the file system for our parrot where we have installed the OS so close it and I'm gonna restart the computer to uh, enter into the Windows 7 system to check uh, if it is working properly or not So restart the computer and choose the Windows 7 operating system from here. So this kind of screen may appear but don't afraid of this stage. Wait for some time and it will automatically start loading your Windows 7 like this. As you can see all is ok over here and let's check the drives and these are all ok let's check the partitions from our disk management and as you can see our e drive remains logical and there are two uh, primary drives or primary partitions uh, that 51 gb is converted into a 3 gb and 44 gb primary file system and as you know that the in that 44 gb partition our parrot os is installed so that's all for today hope to meet you in my next video so thanks for watching